Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's understand reusable workflows in GitHub Actions. So what are they? Let's take a step back. There are two powerful ways in GitHub Actions to avoid duplication, composite actions and reusable workflows. In my previous video, we explored composite actions where we learned how to configure and use them to reuse steps across your workflows. If you missed it, make sure to check out my playlist on GitHub Actions and catch up. Now let's dive into another feature called reusable workflows. Unlike composite actions, reusable workflows allow you to reuse not just steps but entire jobs. Imagine having two workflows with similar functionality, which would require copying and pasting the same code between them, leading to code duplications and violating the dry principle. Don't repeat yourself. So to address this, you can create reusable workflows, allowing you to centralize shared logic and call it from other workflows. So this approach simplifies workflow maintenance and enables you to create new workflows more efficiently by leveraging the existing work uh, much like how you use composite actions so without any delay let's get started imagine you have multiple repositories with angular applications and you have to create workflows in each of these repositories to build and deploy angular app instead of duplicating the build logic across all repositories you can create a reusable workflow and pass inputs for example versions which are specific to that repository to demonstrate this i'll be using the same repository i've been working with throughout the series so if you recall from one of my previous videos i have angular code here in the source folder and i created a workflow to build and deploy angular application this workflow consists of two jobs build angular and deploy angular the build job first uh, checks out the repository sets up the build environment logs output from the previous uh, step and installs dependencies runs uh, or builds the application and uploads artifacts to git artifacts then we have deploy job which would uh, deploy the angular application uh, though in this example it doesn't do anything as you can see we group the uh, steps that are uh, common uh, and uh, reused across different workflows and added them as part of composite action so if i open setup build environment uh, and go to action.yml you'll see that um, there are few steps that can be reused and this will accept uh, inputs python version and node.js version so uh, this should have been the input uh, to this composite action instead of the hard-coded uh, value. But the idea here is uh, we group the set of steps that are reusable across workflows. Uh, but when it comes to reusable workflow, uh, what we really need is uh, we want this entire uh, workflow, which has these two jobs and all these steps to be common for multiple workflows. So let's create a reusable workflow. Uh, you can create a reusable workflow either in separate repository or within the same repository as the workflow that you're using it in. So I'll be using the same repository. Uh, first, uh, you have to create a new YML file, which I have already created. Uh, I'm calling it reusable build deploy angular dot YML. Similar to regular workflow will provide a name build and deploy angular app in my case. And for the event that triggers this workflow, in a regular workflow, we would uh, typically use events like uh, push and workflow dispatch in case of manual uh, trigger. But uh, because this is a workflow which is called from another workflow, we'll call event called workflow underscore call. Here I am passing two inputs python version and node.js version again this is similar to the regular workflow we would have used the same thing for workflow dispatch as well uh, there is no change here except for workflow call i would say rest everything remains the same uh, so basically i copied uh, all these steps from build angular workflow and uh, pasted it here but here i'm using inputs instead of hard-coded values now uh, we have the reusable workflow ready 
let's update the actual uh, workflow to use this reusable workflow so we'll remove the existing uh, jobs let me edit this and remove all these jobs because these jobs will now come from uh, the reusable workflow so i'll create a new job called build deploy which now has to use the reusable workflow so similar to composite actions we'll use a keyword called uh, users and provide the path to the reusable workflow so here it's dot slash dot github slash workflows slash let's copy this name reusable workflow Normally, we would uh, specify branch name using at the rate main, but since we have our reusable workflow in the same repository, the branch name is not required. So finally, we'll pass the inputs using with keyword. And what are the inputs to our workflow? It's Python version. Let me copy this Python version. Uh, let me open build angular uh, workflow again to get this value so i want to pass uh, python version as 3.10 and i want to pass another input called node.js uh, version which is 18.20.4 that's it uh, you can uh, now run this updated workflow and check if it works so let me commit the changes go to view runs we see that uh, new workflow run is triggered if i open this now it says build deploy slash build angular so first it goes to the main workflow which is build hyphen deploy then it runs build angular there is another job called deploy angular which depends on build angular so it's waiting for the build angular job to complete if i open this and click on setup job we can see the inputs that are passed to this workflow so here we can see information about what is the reusable workflow that this workflow is using and what are the inputs to this workflow so once this is completed it will uh, uh, build and then trigger the deploy job so this is how you can um, create a workflow that can be reused across multiple workflows in our case we created a workflow in the same repository but you can always create it in a different repository i'll create another video where i'll create a reusable workflow in a separate repository and make use of it in this repository i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you